Okay, up to this point we haven't had to tackle any UVs or anything like that, but now we've polygrouped the model and we've polypainted it. You can see my polygrouping there. I'm basically going to set the UVs out using the plugin that I got from Pixelogica's website. There are other UV methods. If we go down to UV map, we can create different UV maps, but these none of these are human readable. They're computer readable and they're quite good, but you can't manually go in there in Photoshop and you, you just wouldn't know what piece is which piece. So there's a new plugin uh, from Pixelogic's website called uh, UV Master and it's great because it allows us to unwrap our model as a human readable UV map. So what we first need to do is go into our geometry and reduce the level down to level 1 or the level that we're going to be exporting out at which in this case will be level 1 and then we need to go and open up the Z plugin and click the polygroups and symmetry and unwrap. Now this has quite a few other features and it control painting for painting seams into the model where you want the model to split etc but we're just going to use it like this and I suggest you look at um, UV Master Pixelogic website and look at the readme file to know how to use this it's really good we're just going to unwrap this or we can unwrap them all but I'm going to unwrap in fact I'll unwrap them all it'll do the eyes as well then okay and that's done now so now with that done I can bring this up to level 7 again and I can come down to my UV map which now will give us what we need. Now we know we can have a UV map of 1024 that's it in our spec so we'll click that make sure the map size is 1024 then we're going to come down to texture map and we're going to do new from polypaint and once we click that you'll see that I can turn colorize off now and this is a texture applied to it. I could also turn it off back on there. So we're no longer poly painting, we've got it as a texture. That's how we're viewing it. So I suggest at this point you check it and see that everything's nice and you can't see any seams on it. And then to actually export this map, we'll be cloning the texture. But before we do that, we're going to dis uh, create the displacement map and the normal maps for it which we'll do in the next lesson.